is a region in space where matter is infinitely condensed. It's a singularity in space-time. To convince yourself that it's a black hole rather than some other region which contains a lot of mass, you have to know what its size is and what the mass is, and that the matter is all contained within a sufficiently small space. Now, there's a basic problem here, which is that by its very definition, you can never see a black hole. A black hole essentially is an object from which no light or other information can escape. So you can't ever see it directly. Nonetheless, astronomers have been able to detect the presence of black holes in the universe through indirect methods. One thing is that if material actually falls into a black hole, it gets shredded apart and it heats up. And as it heats up, it starts emitting radiation. And this radiation we can observe. In particular, we can often see X-rays coming from black holes. Also, some of the material can actually be expelled from the region close to a black hole because of the transfer of energy occurring there and produce big radio jets. So you can also find evidence for black holes by looking at radio emission from certain objects. In the case of the star I worked on, Cygnus X1, it's in a binary star system, which was possible to identify the visible star and then determine the orbit of the visible star about the black hole. And from that orbit and from the tidal distortion of the star by the gravitational field of the black hole, we were able to infer the mass of the black hole.